Emerging market bonds issued in local currency experienced a rocky 2020 on the back of the COVID-19 crisis in February March. Especially cyclical currencies such as for example the Brazilian real or the South African rand suffered quite a lot. Um, we have seen a limited recovery in spring but significantly less than the recovery that we have seen on the equity markets. Central banks in emerging markets started to reduce interest rates in order to support their local economies. However, it had a negative impact on the exchange rates of these countries. Over the summer, the depreciation of the US dollar further added to the worries of emerging markets, as most of their uh, currencies are heavily linked to the US dollar. Altogether this year, we have seen a clear distinction between Asia and Latin America, where the latter is still struggling to contain COVID-19 and also has to deal with the consequences of lower oil prices. Emerging market bonds, and especially the ones issued in local currencies, are currently valued rather cheap, as they have lacked the recovery rally that we have seen on the equity markets and the high-yield bond markets. Those two asset classes are back to their pre-COVID-19 levels, which is not yet the case for emerging market bonds. Despite the monetary easing that we have seen in emerging markets, emerging market bonds still offer a significant yield advantage over developed market bonds, offering opportunities for investors. For the coming months, the outcome of the US presidential elections and the evolution of COVID-19 will of course be important drivers of the returns in emerging market debt and risk assets in general. Emerging market debt has been a long-term conviction of Econopolis. In a world of low or even negative interest rates, emerging market bonds can offer attractive yields to investors without having to take excessive risks. Therefore, we invest in a mix of both local and hard currency bonds, as this allows us flexibility and also has been shown to reduce the volatility of the portfolio. We do not aim to achieve the highest theoretical yield of the, uh, of the universe, as this would lead us down to the lower quality uh, segment of the market. Rather, we aim to be selective and look for quality countries that are valued at an attractive price. In the past, we have successfully done this by, for example, never investing in the Turkish Lira or staying away from hard currency bonds that eventually defaulted, such as Argentina, Ecuador, Lebanon, etc. This way, we aim to achieve strong risk-adjusted returns. Sustainability is for all Econopolis investments key. Therefore, um, we work closely together with Sustainalytics. Especially within emerging markets, ESG considerations are very important. We draw upon the uh, rating methodology of Sustainalytics to implement strict ESG criteria on our emerging market debt investments. With these criteria, we exclude approximately half of the EM debt universe. This offers our clients the security that their emerging market debt investments are done in the most sustainable way possible.